that's done the job. So, I've got my list on my phone of what stuff I like. So I think I'll start with TV shows. Um, I don't really watch too many TV shows. I've got, you know, I get home from work, I sit Comedy Central on, I watch Friends, that's all I watch all night. So I thought this year I'll get into a few um, TV shows. So the first TV show I probably got into last year was uh, Gogglebox. Now I love Gogglebox. It's like uh, basically you've got about 12, 13 families and couples sat in front of the TV. They're told what to watch and they get filmed watching it. So it's such a cool premise, such a cool idea. And there's like quite a few of the families that are really, really loving there. So you've got like, um, you've got two, a, a couple of blokes who are like completely like, uh, can I actually say gay? They're, they're a gay couple and they're really lovely. So I love those two. And I love, uh, there's two Jamaican women called Sandy and Sandra and they, they make me howl every week. And there's, uh, who else is that? Leon and June, the elderly couple from Liverpool. I absolutely adore them. They're so, they're amazing. So that was a really good TV show. It's still carrying on this year. And they did a, a charity version for Stand Up To Cancer. And it starred one of my favourite uh, musicians and heroes, Noel Gallagher. So it was like, it was really cool to see him sat watching TV with Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss and hearing his thoughts on TV shows, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, next uh, TV show I got into this year, which I'm quite like getting into, is Sherlock. Uh, now if you remember a couple of videos back, uh, I revealed that I had like a huge crush on Benedict Cumberbatch and my best friend got me a Benedict Cumberbatch cutout, a cardboard cutout for Christmas, so I'm just looking at him now. Hey. I love you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Sherlock is a modern day Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is Sherlock, and Martin Freeman plays Dr. John Watson. Uh, it's a brilliant show. Uh, it's funny. It's you know you you're a, your obvious crime thriller. You know you get to solve cases and stuff. So I absolutely love it. It's just it's brilliant. So you know. BBC, top marks, well done, cannot wait for season four, it's going to be wicked, so uh, that was that's a really good show. Another one that I got into this year, which I'm, I don't want to be ashamed to say, but I really got into X Factor this year. I'm not like a massive X Factor fan, um, I watched a couple of series and um, this year I really got into it because there was a female singer in there called Fleur East who I absolutely adored. I bought all of her singles off iTunes. Uh, she's just so cool. She's got the coolest hair. Her voice is amazing. She can she can pull off like any kind of song. And my favourite song that I heard her perform was Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars and Mark Ronson. That is such a tune. I just... I like boogieing on down to it whenever it comes on the radio or on my iPod. So, absolutely love that. Um, and my other TV show that I get into every year is Game of Thrones. Now, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, you need to see Game of Thrones. It's amazing. It's set in um, kind of medieval times. It's, it, it's not for younger viewers. I can, I can say that. There's a lot of... There's a lot of gore, there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of swearing, and there's a lot, and I mean a lot of nudity and sex in it. So, but it's just a great TV show. If you've read the books and, you know, you haven't seen the TV show yet, watch it. It's really good. Uh, my favourite characters are um, Daenerys Stormborn, or Daenerys Targaryen, rather. Um, she's got three dragons. She's awesome. She's like, you know, hero, women's hero. And uh, Tyrion Lannister, who's a tiny, tiny little uh, man, who's just brilliant. He's, it's just such a great TV show. And I know season five starts on the 13th of April this year, so, you know, 18 weeks away. Yes, I have actually counted, and I cannot wait. So it's going to be brilliant. Uh, that's, that's it for uh, TV shows. So if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my list of things. I haven't really prepared for this or scripted it, so... Uh, film wise, um, I've been to the cinema quite a lot this year and I really love Marvel 
action films. When it comes to films, I'm a bit of a tomboy. I mean, I like the obvious girly films, so, but the, um, the three main films that have stood out for me the most this year. Oh, the sun's going in. I'm not blind anymore. I might go and put my sunglasses on, actually. Um, so, my favourite films this year, first one I went to see was X-Men Dies of Future Past. Now, if you saw X-Men First Class, which was brilliant, this is even better. Oh, yes. I can see! <laughs> so, yeah. X-Men Dies of Future Past. Um, it's, it's weird. It's set in the future. Wolverine gets sent back to the past to basically tell Charles Xavier to, you know, stop being a dick. Come on, we've got the world to save. So it's it's just a really good film. Jennifer Lawrence is in it as Mystique. She's a lovely blue lady in it. And you've got Michael Fassbender, yummy, as um who is he? Magneto! That's who he is. <laughs> so I'm having a bit of a Ooh, I'm a bit tired. So it's it's just a really excellent film. Um the next film, right, which is amazing, I cannot praise this film up enough, is Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it stars Chris Pratt as Star Lord. It's also got like uh, Vin Diesel's in it as Groot, which is the tree, and he's amazing. Bradley Cooper does the voice of Rocket Raccoon, and he's like a little violent raccoon, but I love him to bits. Um, you've got Zoe Saldana in it as a green lady, but I cannot remember her name. No. No, and there's a wrestler in it called, uh, his name Drax in it, but he's so funny. But it's just, I love Marvel, so obviously that was on the list the first time I knew it was going to come out last year. So, you know, we went to go and see it, I loved it, I've got it on DVD, cannot stop watching it. It's just a brilliant film, and the soundtrack is amazing as well. It's just full of, like, 70s classics, and they're amazing. You've also got the Ooga Chaka song, if I can find it. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. It's just a tune. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. I'm hooked on a feeling. So embarrassment there sorry I got carried away uh, yes so brilliant film and the last film I went to see was uh, I saw this the night before Christmas Eve and it was the new Hobbit film uh, Battle of the Five Armies now I'm, I absolutely love Lord of the Rings I love the Hobbit so I was over the moon when I went to see this um, it's brilliant so you've got Smeg the Dragon in it who again is voiced by the wonderful Benedict Cumberbatch, Martin Freeman's in it as, as uh, not Frodo Baggins, sorry, as Bilbo Baggins, uh, Richard Armitage as Thorin Oakenshield, and it's just brilliant. It's been split into three parts, you had, um, uh, la, 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 la. what's the first Hobbit film called? Ah. An Unexpected Journey, that's it, <laughs> got there in the end. Uh, so you've got The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, then you've got The Desolation of Smaug, which is a really good film and then you've got the Battle of the Five Armies which I went to see uh, the night before Christmas Eve and it was brilliant so it was just full of action I was on the edge of my seat the entire time excellent film so that's it for films food wise my favourite food of the year has had to be uh, the, the Slimming World recipe and what it is is garlic mushrooms with soft cheese and you use pasta whatever that pasta's called, tagliatelle, and you cook it up, you garlic up your mushrooms, you add the soft cheese, paprika, black pepper, oh my word, it is the most delicious meal I've ever eaten. So apart from that and my love affair with Mexican food, that has to be my favourite food of last year. Um, music wise, uh, for Christmas, obviously you saw in my What I Got For Christmas video, I had George Edwards album. Um, I really love his music, he's got such a unique an incredible voice so every song that he's released this year has stood out for me um, I love London Grammar as well um, I don't think they're fairly new but they're really really good let me find looks like uh, I have trouble getting into bands this year
Oh really, I've got to stop singing on camera, I'm sorry. Uh, so London Grammar have been a standout uh, group for me to watch this year. And, um, I've, you know, I've really, like I said, I've loved Uptown Funk. That song is amazing. I know it only came out, like, about a month ago. But it's just, oh, I cannot wait for the album. Um, another band or group that I've really, really loved is Clean Bandit. Oops, didn't mean for that to happen. It's just, they're amazing. You've heard the song Rather Be. It's, uh, you know, it's been about on the radio all year. And um, they're just good. The M&S advert, that's it. So it's, it starts like this. So you know this song. So this is a really good song. My word, that sun is really bright. What keeps happening now on my Spotify? It's been a bit of a shit. Uh, so the song that stood out for me the most by uh, well, it's not even by Clean Bandit. I've got this totally wrong. Clean Bandit features a, uh, a singer named Jess Glynn. So she releases a song this year called Right Here. And I've absolutely bummed it to death. It's like my favourite song of the year. Um, this is how it goes. So that's one of them, and the, oh, you know what? Oh my god, stop! The one that I've absolutely adored this year that reminds me of my holiday in Cornwall is called Play Sky Full of Stars. So it's just, it's such a gorgeous song, and I love it to bits, it just reminds me of the summer. So that's my, um, that's my songs. Oh no, not, not exactly. Um, there's also, I think you know this one. No, I'm all about that. No trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. No, no trouble. trouble. Love that song. Because I've got a big bum. That's my song. That's my jam. So, yes, I've loved that song. Um, also, Sam Smith. My word. Where the hell has he come from? He's just... Oh, his voice is just so dreamy. He's got the most beautiful face I've ever seen in my entire life. I just want to squeeze it. And the song that stood out for me the most this year by him is I'm Not The Only One. So it's just a lovely chill out song. And also, if I find, I used to love, no go away, I still do love Kaiser Chiefs. So this year they bought out um, a song, well they bought out an album, not just a song, they bought an album out called Education, Education, Education and War and I keep saying this year, it's actually last year, sorry, I'm still really confused. I wrote 2014 on one of my work production sheets um, last week, I felt like an idiot. So, um, yes, Cosmo Chiefs released their fourth, no, fifth album, is it fifth? I should know this, you know, because I went to see them that many times in 2009 and I loved them. So they released a song called Coming Home that I really loved. Um, if I just find it. You know what? Yes, it's just an excellent song. They've really changed as a band as well, so... Here we go. Such a good festival song. Coming home, coming home. We're coming home. They did so well at Glastonbury. I'm so proud of them. Them like, I love them to bits. So that is actually the end of my favourite song. I can move on with that now. Um, clothes boys. I haven't really had my favourite clothes. I know in the summer like, I really loved wearing my baggy shorts because they were just so comfortable. And um, I had a pair of um, of nude flat shoes from Primark that I absolutely wore 
excuse me, the crap out of. So I then split it at the back now, I need a new pair of those. And I had um, like a baseball top that's got, uh, you know, Pepsi Cola on it, like the old 1950s. So I wore, I wore that quite a lot through here the summer. It was lovely. So, and then um, top books, Game of Thrones, as always, I love it. Such a good read. I read it on the bus to and from work. I hate it when people interrupt me. Can I sit here? Yeah, I'm reading my book. Leave me alone. So, and um, seeing as I've got back into vlogging a bit, my uh, my favourite bloggers of last year and will carry on to be this year is obviously I absolutely adore Essie Button. She's so funny. Um, she's got um, a beauty channel and a vlog channel that you can. That I'll, I'll link it all below anyway, that you can go and follow them. Um, it's just brilliant. She's from Canada, but she lives in London. And it's just, she's awesome. I love her to bits. Um, the next one is Gabriella from Velvet Ghosts, who uh, I absolutely love. I love her accent. I love her videos. I love everything about her. She's just as beautiful. So, um, in the fro as well, Victoria has got the most amazing like amethyst purple hair I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, her beauty channel is amazing. Her tutorials are amazing. I actually fell in love with the New Year's Eve uh, Get Ready With Me video. I was like, oh, so I want to look like you. And um, I love Viviana Does Makeup. She's amazing. And a new blogger that I found in the last couple of weeks is a blog called I Covet Thee. Um, I'm going to be so... Oh, I feel awful because I've completely forgot her name. I'm going to look for it. Give me a sec. I should have been so much more prepared for this, but obviously not. I should have got some better lighting as well, my word. Um, I covered the... a name I love her she's so pretty and she also she reminds me of Drew Barrymore a bit and I love Drew Barrymore she's like my favorite actress role model beauty icon I love it a bit so that's it for like my non-beauty non best of 2014 I hope you've enjoyed it I thought it was a bit more of an insight into uh, what I like to do, what my favourite music is and that's all. Um, I hope it's alright. I hope the sun hasn't caused too much of... Oh, I'm just being blinded now. It's ridiculous. I need sunglasses. And I apologise for the singing as well. But, you know, when the groove texture, what can you do? So, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna finish up there. Um, next videos are going to be a photography talk and... Um, my little mini haul that I got. Also, my, what I achieved to what? Yeah, my bad. What I achieved? What, oh. I need to slow down. What I hope to achieve in 2015. So that video was inspired by Essie Button actually. So I'll tag her below. I'll tag all the bloggers. I'll tag the films, the music. You know, I can't tag the food because it's in my stomach. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Um, I will see you next time.